It's really good. I don't feel like waiting that last two minutes. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Welcome to the Content and Cash podcast. We do every single Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Today, we're going to talk about something that relates to the video we dropped yesterday. And if you notice, we're kind of doing a theme. I'm dropping a video on Monday. So I hope you've seen that. And then we kind of do a follow up to it a little bit. Part two of that video is usually available to our members over at Flash Home Academy that's serious about this thing. But we still going to chop it up a little bit here. Today, we're going to add on to it a little bit, right? Because, we, th th you know, we got we to gotta add on to it. You ever wonder how your photography or videography website isn't converting visitors into clients? You may be showcasing some really dope work. You may be putting out some dope videos. You may have some good stuff that they can see and like, but it's not turning them into clients. And today, we're going to talk about about three mistakes you may be making on your website that's not converting leads into clients and we're gonna help you understand these all right so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna be short sweet in and out we may answer a few questions so if you got them get them ready but uh let's roll that intro and let's go for it let's that let's let that bread fall wait okay To content and cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. If you want to learn how to take pretty pictures, this is not the place. But if you're ready to make a living by learning the business behind the camera, buckle up because it's time to turn passion into profit with your host, Ty Turner. What's really good? It's your boy, Ty Turner. If this is your first time on this channel, this channel right here is designed to help you understand the business side of content creation. If you want to learn how to take pretty pictures, if you want to hear about all the latest gadgets and gear, there are plenty of channels out there for you to go learn and watch and do those things. If you want to learn how to afford that gear, this is the channel you need to land on. My name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer and the owner of one of Dallas's most trusted production companies. And I've worked with companies like Walmart, Samsung, Toyota. You can go down the list. Uh, you, can, you can list a ton of them. And I'm here to help you get that bag, period. That's what we're talking about. So I want to make sure I touch on that and we, we cover that because this is, this is the channel that's going to help you understand the business side so that you can land clients consistently. That's what we do at Flash Film Academy. All right. There you go. Also, this podcast can be downloaded and listened anywhere you listen to podcasts. So it's live. If you're catching it live and you don't, you can't sit through it, you can't watch it, just go and download the content and cash or subscribe to the content and cash podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, so let's get into it. I want to make sure I punch you in the throat quick and we in and we out. So, you know, I want to make sure that we, we talk about some of the common mistakes that are found on websites that may be causing you to lose clients and a lot of things people don't think about. And I want to make sure that I am just opening your eyes to some of the issues I see or I hear clients complain about. Because see, when I take y'all clients, they tell me why they didn't go with y'all. They tell me about the competition. They tell me about why they didn't choose this guy or that guy. Or if I lose a job, I'm asking that information. I don't want to guess as to why I didn't get the job. I don't want to guess as to why it didn't work. I want to know why it didn't work. And I'm going to ask you. And if I'm on a website like a Thumbtack or whatever, um, I'm going to make sure that if I spend money on a lead, I'm going to make something off that lead. I may not get the job, but at least I'm going to learn as to why I didn't get the job so that I get the next one. A lot of y'all lose a job and say, peace, y'all offended or hurt or mad. No, I still want to have a relationship with you so that I can understand what went wrong. So that next time I'm the guy. Also, this is something we talk about over at Flash Home Academy. If you're not a member, make sure you consider being a member. But that relationship usually result in, in having a client later. Because if the guy they choose didn't do right, guess what they're looking for? They're looking for you. They're definitely looking for you. Let me also, um, before we get into it real quick, for those who are new, make sure you go over to Flash Home Academy and download our Capture and Convert Kit. It's free. 
And there's actually one of the eBooks are five things to immediately change on your website to attract more clients. So if you're having an issue on your, on your website, that ebook, sorry, that was loud. That ebook will address a lot of things. It won't address what we're going to talk about today, but there's five other things you really need to be mindful of and think of when you have a website. All right. Bet. Okay. Let's talk about number one, which is the most common and people just don't get it. It's an overwhelming, overwhelmingly, um, or overwhelming navigation design. It's hard to navigate your website. You know, it's too complicated or it's too cluttered. It can be frustrating for clients. Your website should be a smooth journey, um, leading potential clients effortlessly to your best work. Effortlessly. Make sure you circle that. Make sure you definitely circle that. It should lead them effortlessly to your best work, services, and contact information. A lot of people website is just difficult. You know why? Because you decided to make it and you didn't bring in anybody who specialize in front end design or website flow, or you don't understand how customers view your website. You just looked at somebody else and tried to copy it. And a lot of people fail. I'm going to be real with you. A lot of people fail in business because they look somewhere and they try to copy it and they don't understand why that works for them. I had a guy literally rip off my whole demo reel. Even though I got a course that talks about how to build a demo reel for your business, he decided to just copy my demo reel and put in the shots that I put in. But guess what? It didn't work for him. You know why? We don't have the same target audience. We don't have the same value proposition. We, we're not going after the same type of client. We're not in the same niche. So what worked perfectly for me didn't work for him. It, it, it backfired. So we kind of teach the theory um, so that you can understand how to make better decisions in this industry and just not what to do. We don't do copy and paste. Do this, do that, do this. No, this is what you need to be. This is the information you need to get. This is what you need to do with that information. And this is how you apply it. So those are things that I want to make sure that, you know, we, we talk about. Number two is lack of clear value proposition. I cannot stress this enough. I, if you don't have a value proposition, if your company, if your brand, if you as a photographer, videographer, or whatever, don't understand your value proposition or have one, you're probably not going to be in business for long. If you've never heard of the idea or term of value proposition, you need to pick up at least one business book. Because as soon as you read a book on how to run a business, page three is going to talk about your value proposition. You need to make sure you're, you, you, you're portraying it, you're displaying it, and your client know. Your web, if your website doesn't clearly communicate how you solve a client's specific needs, you're missing the mark. Clients, uh, they, they don't want to know how you offer. They don't want to know what you offer. They want to know what's the benefits of what you offer. You're talking features. They need benefits. They need to know how, how does this help me? Everybody on your website, remember, I've, I've, I've had videos talking about the emergency room uh, idea, right? We want to help people that need help. We want to help people that need help. Those are the clients that we want because they're paying the most. Don't nobody walk in the emergency room talking price. Window shoppers talk price. People that's bleeding out don't talk price. They want the best of the best. People that's, that's, that's lost an arm, lost a finger, that's in the emergency room saying, I can't feel my arm. They're not discussing price. They barely want to fill out paperwork. I need help. Your client, I mean, your website should be designed to be that emergency room for people who have a problem. But if they come to you and they don't understand what problem you solve, they're going to leave. If I go in a building and I don't see red crosses and people with steth stethoscopes and white coats and I'm bleeding, I'm not in the right building. I'm out. A lot of your websites do that for clients. You don't have a value proposition. You offer no value. You solve no problems. You just say, I got pretty pictures. I got video. It's literally like walking into a hospital and they got a gurney, an x-ray machine, some, some gauze. They got, a, they got a cabinet full of drugs. And they expect you to look, look at all of that and feel like they're the ones that can help you. It don't work like that. That's why we don't do portfolio websites in 2024. 
The same reason you don't walk into a drugstore thinking that you're going to find nurses and doctors that can help you with this problem. There's a big difference between a hospital and a drugstore. With your portfolio website, you look like a drugstore. Not even that, you look like a drug dealer because you only got one drug that's for everything. You're not even worried about people's problems. The only problem you solve is the, you want to get high here. Hospitals are completely different. And hospitals make a whole lot more money than all the drug dealers you know. I'm not talking about the two or three you see on TV. And hospitals still make more than them. Hospitals, they're doing pretty good because they solve problems. So that's number two, your lack of clear value proposition. You ain't got it, chief. You ain't got it. Number three is insufficient case studies or client testimonials. I told you in that video, once you, once you talk about what you do, you need to show proof. Where's the proof? Once you show what you do, where's the proof? I don't know you, man. I don't trust what you're talking about. You, you helped the company grow by 6% because of your pictures. Where's the proof? I either need a testimonial. I need a case study. I need something. And I need multiple of whatever that something is. That's how you charge top dollar. At Flash Film Academy, me and, me and our members got a thing called being reassuringly expensive. That's what you want to be. That's the goal. Being reassuringly expensive. You can do that if you have the, the three things we listed today. You're on path to do that. If you're getting nickel and dime and you say clients ain't spending no money, they're not calling you back, they're not buying from you, I'm sure this has a lot to do with it. I'm pretty sure it is. Business is not something you can roll out of bed and just practice like it takes work. We talk about this heavily in Module 1, which is one of the core courses over at Flash Room Academy, but it is what it is. Um, so let's talk about you know, lack, of, lack of testimonials and, and social proof. Um, it leaves your prospect, prospects questioning your credibility. Like I said, they don't know you. I don't trust... I don't trust a clean mechanic. If I come to your come to your shop and if you got gloves, I respect that. But I it's certain things you don't trust. You don't trust a skinny cook. You know, it's certain things, you know, you know how you go to the barbecue, you know how you go to the to the to the picnic, and and whoever at the barbecue, whoever on the grill, got that little back arm meat, they wearing sandals, and you like, oh yeah, oh, it's about to be on point. You ever go to a Waffle House, all my people in the South? You ever go in a Waffle House and it's too clean? And you're like, this Waffle House is spotless. This food is about to be trash. But you go in one where the floor is sticky and, and you look at the chef and the chef is wiping his head. You're like, oh, this guy is about to do it right here. This guy is the truth. Let me order me an all-star. You know what I'm saying? Let me order me because you know he's about to kill it. It's certain things that your website need to portray for clients to feel like that about you. They need to, it's certain things that you just, you got to have. And I see a lot of photographers or videographers, our mindset is my quality is so good or I'm so passionate about it. Your passion don't mean results for me. Your passion is a feature. It's not a benefit. So what if you love doing it? You could be trash at doing it. You can love doing this stuff and be bad. We all know people who love doing things that are incredibly bad at it. Passion is nothing. Passion don't matter no more. Passion mattered when it was six photographers on the market. It don't matter when it's 600,000 of y'all. Everybody's passionate about it, obviously. So you need more than that. Um, you need more than that. So let me talk about, let me kind of give point you in a direction a little bit. Now, usually these are things that I would say for the, for the membership side of things. These are things that I would kind of, the video that's behind you, like what's on the academy? What, I'm learning a lot here. Well, what more is there to learn? There's a lot to learn. Because in the academy, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Right? So let me give you an example. Let's start. Let's start with uh, clarifying your value proposition. Just a little bit. And I'm give you all three because you ain't a member. You don't get all that. My gold members get all of that. So craft a clear and compelling value proposition that speaks directly to your ideal client. Show your potential clients the transformation you offer, making it easy for them to envision what you can do for them. That's just a taste. I can't give you too much. 
Can't give you too much. Not on this side. But you need to understand why your value proposition is important. And we talk about that heavily in module one. We talk about how to craft it, how to build it, how to design it. We talk about that in a big way. Why you need it, why it's important, who benefits from it, what it should be, what it shouldn't be, and how to build your company around your value proposition. Right? So what you take great pictures. So what you you've been a wedding photographer for 20 years. So what you've been a videographer since birth. Who cares? That doesn't benefit the client. A value proposition, even as a wedding videographer is important because guess what? When they go talk to six different wedding videographers and they all saying, I like to do this. I have fun. This has been my dream since I was little. And you have a value proposition. You've just killed the competition. Before we even looked at your content. Even brides and grooms, they want results. They may be having fun. They want results. They, they, they ha- they've hired you for results. Those results aren't just pretty pictures or video. Those results may be capturing the culture of the event. Those results, are there's a list of results they want. Outside of pretty pictures, I can take pretty pictures of the table decorations and that's it. They get these pictures back and like, well, where's my grandma? Where's me? Where's the, they want results. Promise your clients results. Now your value proposition will help you do just that. I got everybody in mama trying to join my, uh, my Instagram feed. Y'all ain't getting in. Um, so you got to make sure that you You are building your business for success. You can't just roll out of bed and say, I want to do it. How much could I make? I think I can do this for $500. I'm good. Right? That's what, that's what the, you know, that that area where people say it's saturated. There's so many people. Nobody, blah, blah, blah. You know what it's saturated with? A bunch of people who rolled out of bed and, and thought they could figure out business today. That bottom. I call them Best Buy shoppers. No knock against Best Buy, but they went and got a camera from Best Buy. They got their Fantastic 50, they Nifty 50, they fa- they uh Fantastic Plastic, whatever you want to call that, 50 by uh 50 millimeter F1.8 by everybody and their mama. They got that. They shoot no auto and they're trying to make some money because they thought that hitting a button, a lot of people get into photography or videography because they, they think it's easy. They think it's just, some, you know, I can hustle and do this and do that. If I get a $200 client every, I'm good. There's a lot of people in this space that think like that. There's a lot of think people that are in this space that think like that. You have to overcome those before you start making consistent profit. You got to overcome them people. It's a, that's the thing about any type of any job or any industry that don't require a license, like a like a doctor or a lot or a dentist, where you got to go through eight years of training, two hundred thousand dollars in student debt, anything where you can roll out of bed, you're going to have a lot. You're gonna have a lot of competition. The good thing is that competition, a majority of them are half ass. A majority of them are people who just think, well, we can just figure it out on the way. I got the camera. I can take the pictures. I can figure it out. You know how many people, how many photographers I meet that don't even have systems and processes in place? You know how many photographers I I can call their work phone or submit on a form on their website, and they can't even walk me through the complete sale because they never thought about it? That tells me you're you're not set up for success. What are you doing? You're not trying to make it. You just, you want to, Wing your way into business, and it don't work like that. McDonald's make a cheeseburger they've been making for 60 years and have systems and processes. They got a way, you know, the the ketchup go on before the onions at every McDonald's, and then the pickle go on, and then the cheese or whatever way it go. All my McDonald's workers know what it is. There's systems and processes in their business on something they've made a thousand times. Your business don't have any. You don't even answer your phone right, you like the same time. You answer your phone different every time. Hello, hey, hi, John's Photography. How may I help you? Thank you for calling. You don't even you don't even have that in place. 
But you supposed to land a big client? But you supposed to get a $10,000, $20,000, $50,000 client? Don't work like that. Work on your business. Because a lot of y'all, a lot of those button pushers, a lot of those Best Buy guys, what's up, Toronto? A lot of those Best Buy guys who rolling out of bed saying, I can do this. They're the ones that's saturating the industry. The minute you learn business, you start to separate yourself from them. They're the guys that's looking at my prices saying $20,000, I can do it for $2,000. That's not good business. Good business is saying, I'm going to offer more value and charge more. I'm going to make more money off that. Bad business is I'm going to charge less. It just, it don't make sense. That means you're not offering any value. And it's not, some people feel like, well, you, you're just unhappy because he's doing it cheaper than you. No, I'm not. I'm unhappy because he's saturating the market with BS, with a client who, who may go that route to save money. If they do, very rarely they do because I offer more value. But if they do, they've been burnt. And now they don't trust nobody. Now they think everybody offers that level of trash you offer. Because you've told, you've told them you're a company and you're not. Now when they decide to spend the money and come to me, that first job, I got to deal with them micromanaging me. Until they realize we know what we're doing. That's why we do things like provide itineraries and we do a lot of things. I'm not going to get into it. That's for my gold members. They, my gold members get that. My gold members, they, they get all that. So there are things you should be doing in this industry. Um, there's things that you should be doing in this industry to set yourself apart. And it's not hard. It's not hard. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's not hard to be successful in this industry. If you know people that are having, a, having problems being successful in this industry, it's usually for a few reasons. One of the reasons is they put gear before the business. They invested thousands of dollars in gear and put nothing up here. They don't invest in courses, books, none of that. They think a better lens that offers more bokeh, a bigger camera, going from Canon to Sony, Sony to Blackmagic, Blackmagic to Red, Red to Alexa. They think that upgrade will do more for them than this upgrade. That's what they think. And you know what? They just end up in a lot of debt. They end up selling their gear after about three or four years on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist because it didn't, it didn't turn, in any, it turn into anything. So we're, that's right. Edifying Pursuits, Marcus, that's right. Where do, where do we go to learn how to be successful? Flash from Academy, of course. That's my guy. Good, good, uh, good layup right there. Good layup. So, you know, I want to make sure that you guys start to think about this differently. There's, there's a reason there's a thick slab of saturation. And all of those guys value images, equipment, uh, networking, portfolio sites over understanding business. We're moving away from people just needing pictures. We're moving away from, hey, I'm gonna hire you to come and take pictures at my party. Them days are, them days are pretty much gone thanks to cell phones. Videography is about to take a hit thanks to AI. So we getting crunched from both ends. Cell phones are getting better. AI is getting better. We right in the middle. There's a few industries, and I got some stuff coming up for our gold members talking about, hey, guys, um, at some point, we're going to have to pivot to stay alive. These are the industries that, that AI can't touch. There are a few that AI can't touch. But we're getting crunched from cell phones and AI at the same time. It's coming from the top and bottom. What's going to happen when we get cell phones with AI? It's a wrap. I think some of the Samsungs are doing that now. It's a, it's a wrap. Daryl Reeves, hey, that's so true. Seeking knowledge is a skill. That is, you know what? You're absolutely right, bro. You don't know what you don't know, and you're not going to know it if you ain't willing to know it. So many people think they know it. They can do it. Let's just go do it. I got it. It can't be that hard. And get out here and don't have success. And they don't understand why they don't have success. And they blame it on the industry. They blame it on the customers. They blame it on everything but them. Because they haven't taken the time to understand business. J. 
Just because you've been a victim of it don't mean you know how to do it. And one of the, one of the analogies I love to use is just because you've eaten apple pie don't, don't mean that you can make one. There's no way you can bite into a slice of apple pie and tell me what, what temperature that oven was on. You can't. I can give you a whole apple pie and let you di dissect it. You would have a hard time telling me how many apples is in the apple pie. How many apples did we use to make this? Well, there's uh, the 200 slices. Okay. So these are things, these are things you got to know. And at the academy, we're really, really big on making sure we not only teach it, teach it to you, show you how to implement it, but we hold you accountable. Oh, yeah, we're going to hold you accountable. You ain't going to rock with me and not move forward. It's not happening. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna rock you ain't gonna be a flash from academy student and not have progress. We don't do that. We'll say that for your gurus out here that want to sell you a $67 click funnel course. They let them do that. We only rock with winners. All right. Um, let me say, let me let's see. Um make sure I, I covered everything. If you can't, if you missed this, keep in mind, all you gotta do is subscribe to the content and cash podcast. Wherever you listen to podcasts, it'll be up there in a little bit and you can get it. But there's a question that I'm starting to, to leave with everybody. I'm starting to make sure that you are aware of before we, before we uh, move forward. And it's, and it's just something I want you to think about. I want you to really think about this. If you don't think about nothing, and it's something I'm going to continue to push. Every business around you, all of them, every business around you need content. Daily, they need training content, they need recruiting content, they need social media content for different posts, for different social media platforms, they need sales content, they need videos on teaching uh, their clients how to use their products or services. Every business, from plumbers to cable companies to toy manufacturers, to local mom and pop shops selling clothing in your area, to everybody with an Etsy store. All of these companies need content. All of them. The question I want to ask you is why aren't they hiring you? When you're ready to answer that question, download the Flash Film Academy app and join. That's all I got for you. I'll see y'all in the next video. You've been listening to Content and Cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and go to our webpage at www.flashfilmacademy.com.